What is going on guys, Virtual Stealth here, and today I am bringing you some Team Deathmatch on Modern Warfare 3 because I haven't uploaded Modern Warfare 3 in a while, or Call of Duty in general. Basically, we are playing Team Deathmatch with the MP5, so I'm not going to go over the perks and setups because they are basically ir irrelevant. If you really want to know what class setup I use, you can just ask me and I will respond to you in the comments below. Um, so anyways, today what I want to talk about is concerning YouTube and Call of Duty and the relationship between those two things. Basically what I'm trying to question here is YouTube ruining Call of Duty. And I know this question sounds weird and it might sound kind of, kind of a dumb question to be honest. Uh, because usually when we think about it we we say oh call of duty is ruining youtube look at how many channels there is on youtube that just upload call of duty and i know where you're coming from from that but you have to realize youtube is also affecting call of duty in a bad way uh for example things that are put in the game they weren't meant to be uh, used and abused in certain combinations like let's say danger close and the new tubes but infinity War didn't create the game in mind that pe so many people would use this setup black ops treyarch didn't put the the perk ghost in mind thinking that that many people would use the perk thinking that uh that many people would corner camp with that perk so it's not really to blame the developers it, we we should blame it on ourselves for example, Wings of Redemption, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't around YouTube at the time when he exposed the noob tube and Danger Close, but he basically, uh, what I'm, from what I know, he actually kind of promote, promoted the noob tube. Um, he didn't do it on purpose, that wasn't his intention, he was trying to get some things patched, he was trying to get that patch, but it never did. And now it backfired on him, and basically all of YouTube, all of Call of Duty, and now everyone is using the new tube. Heck, White Boy Chemistry got the fastest fucking nuke with the new tube. Then we move on to Black Ops. When uh, Woody's gamer tag, he wanted to help us out. So when he bought the game, when he had the game before release, he was like, "Oh, everybody has to use uh, everybody has to use Ghost." It's well, I'm not sure if he actually bought it before release. Um, but anyways, that doesn't matter. He was like, oh, when the, when you get the game, the first thing, the first perk you should buy is Ghosts. Everyone's going to be a noob and everyone's going to be using UAV, uh, the spy plane, whatever. Which makes sense and it's a helpful tip, but then it, again, kind of backfired on us. Now everyone and now uh, you see a lot of people camping with Ghosts in the corners. Also, another thing, C4s. I'm not sure if you, uh, like, I don't really think White Boy 7th Street was the first to use C4s. Like, I'm pretty sure there was a lot of smaller channels using it. But ever since, like, a couple months ago, I've been noticing a lot more people using C4s instead of grenades and claymores and all that. And I think it's starting to get a, quite a bit annoying. And it's not, again, it's not the, the developer's fault. They didn't uh, put the C4 in their minds knowing that so many people would use it and so many people would use it in game types like search and destroy and stuff and then also we move on to T Martin he did a video on the LMG buffs and he also gave out a class setup that was unbelievably basically had low recoil low recoil on an LMG I don't care what type of class setup you have that's freaking retarded and again, it's not the developers. How do, how would they know that someone would go through all the combinations and find the perfect match to make an overpowered weapon? Which, in my opinion, I mean, yeah, it's thermal with grip, so you're going to have to look through the thermal sight, but it's still kind of overpowered. You can basically snipe people with that thing. Um, and it's the same thing with weapons. How many people use MP7 in the ACR? Again... Infinity War didn't develop didn't develop the game in in mind that uh, to make all those people use those guns. They just wanted they just made the guns. It would they didn't they don't think about this stuff when they're developing the game. And the reason why I'm saying ACR and MP7 is everyone is using it, and mainly it's to get kill streaks and Moabs. How many people have you seen trying to get a Moab in Modern Warfare 3? How many people have you seen 
getting nukes in Modern Warfare 2. And I think, honestly, YouTube has basically uh, exploded those kill streaks and those game ending kill streaks. Um, because I remember when I got Modern Warfare 3, it was like two months already after the game came out. I already had the game, obviously, since launch. But I was playing free for all, and some guy was like, Oh, I gotta get this Moab. And then this other guy, he's like, What the hell is a Moab? He was clueless of what it was and then the other guy told him he's just he's just like search Moab it's a secret kill streak that you get fast forward probably two weeks later and that guy's probably trying to get a Moab uh, same thing with kill streaks again and KDR KDR a lot of people were just trying to brag about it and then just ruining the game because they're spawn trapping spawn locking I'm not saying spawn trapping is a bad thing, but it's kind of annoying when you're on the other side getting killed, especially when you're on a team with randoms, and I know that you can just leave the game, but then that's no fun to the other people that are spawn trapping either, because if you leave the game, they're probably not going to enjoy much of the time that they were expecting to enjoy, like they won't be able to finish their game. So that's basically what I have for the gameplay. The gameplay ran out already. That's about it. I There's going to be another video that I'm going to upload soon. Or I'm going to make another commentary where I actually talk about if Call of Duty is uh, ruining YouTube. And maybe a second part to this. I'm not really sure. Uh, I really felt like I, have a little, I had a little bit more points that I can use in this video. But... Again, I ran out of time and I extended this video already like a minute later. So, I will see you guys in the future. I'm Virtual Stuff and I'm out.